All right, and we are live with our 2014 rollout of Boy Scout Resident Camp at Camp Cornhusker, highlighting our second year of our Mountain Man program, the Explorer Year. I'm Will Cover, your program director. I'm John Irwin, the camp director. And away we go. All right, John, let's uh, just get this out of the way right off the bat. Uh, the weeks uh, for resident camp this year, Boy Scout resident camp week one is from June 2nd to June 8th. Boy Scout week two from June 9th to June 15th. And Scout week three, June 16th to June 22nd. What's it cost to go to Scout Camp? Uh, cost for Scout Camp this year will be $200 for boys and adults will be attending at the price of $105. That's a great deal. It is a great deal. Even a better deal if the unit has uh, managed to come up with their Gold Star discount by completing their goal for FOS in 2014 as well as participating in the popcorn sale. Uh, that gives each individual attending camp a $15 discount if the gold star status has been reached. All right. Thank you. I'll tell them how they can ask us questions. All right. Very good. That uh, If you are wanting to ask us a question live this evening, uh, you should tweet us at CornhuskerBSA or email at jared.rymers at scouting.org. That's J-E-R-A-D dot R-E. E I M E R S at scouting.org, or you can contact us via Facebook at the council page. All right, let me tell you some of the things that we're doing at camp. One of the main things that we have is our Trail to First Class program. This is a morning program that is led by adults. Uh, the morning part is started off at the troop meeting, and in this troop meeting, we teach the boys what the meanings of the laws are. In order to get into the Troop meeting the next day, the boys have to be able to explain what the different laws are they learned the day before. After the morning troop meeting, they break up into patrol activities and led by leaders that have been through outdoor leader training and assisted by leaders taking outdoor leader training that week. The boys are busy learning things like knots, lashings, how to work a compass. They do cooking. Uh, on Wednesday morning, we'll have as many as 60 fire pits, and each boy has his own fire pit. He starts his fire with tinder and kindling with uh, odd matches, and he'll cook two eggs, two pieces of bacon, and toast. And this is all assisted by adults that are either have been trained or are in the midst of training. You know, for a long time running, Camp Cornhusker has had the finest trail first, uh, first class program in the area. Now, in the afternoon, if the boys take swimming and first aid, they will leave with two Eagle required merit badges. And as uh, we move into some of the other program areas available for the camp, of course, we've got uh, all of the finest in outdoor skills and scouting skills programming. Our outdoor skills area includes uh, camping, cooking, orienteering, geocaching, pioneering, and wilderness survival. The aquatic area uh, includes canoeing, kayaking, Rowing, small boat sailing, swimming, water rescue, life saving. Um, our handicraft area, art, basketry, leather work, and wood carving. The shooting sports area includes archery, rifle, and shotgun. And our ecology conservation area, including environmental science, fish and wildlife management, geology, sustainability, space exploration, bird study, weather, astronomy, and soil and water conservation. Also, uh, in these areas, we'll be working on first aid and emergency preparedness merit badges. That's a lot of merit badges for the boys to work on. Quite a lot. Now, also, we always want to get the older boys to come back to camp. We find a problem with the boys getting tired of coming to camp, so we have developed an older boy program. And it offers vocational life skills such as auto maintenance, auto maintenance farm machinery, home repairs, welding, electricity, plumbing, and metal work. We have a, built a six-bay building last year, and each one of these classes is in, is in one of the bays. Now, in our adventure skills, we have things like aviation. You get to go flying, horsemanship, coat. That's uh, going down the zip line is one of the things they get to do. Chess, golf, fly fishing, and regular fishing. And we have some of the greatest fishing Available in our pond 
uh, bass are just getting bigger and bigger, and there's plenty of bluegills. I, say, I did not let a line last year without pulling in at least one fish. That's right. Now, we also have a scouting university. This is also, again, for older boys, and the College of Eagle Required teaches citizenship in the nation, citizenship in the world, and communication. That's right, and we'll be focusing a lot this year, uh, trying to bring ourselves in line with the STEM program. If you're not familiar with STEM, that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Uh, this is a nationwide curriculum. Uh, that scouting is on board with and that we'll be working uh, down into our camp program as well. Uh, these areas provide an all-around program for scouting development in the STEM areas, okay, and that's open to older boys. Uh, included in there will be our College of Computer Science, which will be including the computers and robotics merit badges. Other classes that are part of STEM uh, can be found throughout our uh, ecology and conservation and life skills areas. All right, activities at camp. Patrol programs. We have a lot of activities for the patrols to participate in the evenings, and this helps them to obtain their Honor Troop Award. Some of the activities would include the Blazing Trail Nature Hike. This is a combination of, of the Five Mile Hike and a nature trail at the same time. This is run by the Trail to First Class staff and the Ecology Conservation staff. The boys have a great time doing this. Also, we have the cat eye trails. This is the, the nature hike is Monday evening. The cat eye trails is Tuesday evening around 9.30 when it starts getting dark. And on this, there's three different courses set up, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. And on different trees, there are metal shapes that reflect in the light. And the boys are, giving direct, are given directions. They take their flashlight and they shine it over to that tree where that direction is, and two cat eyes will shine and they walk over to that area, they get the directions for the next, and they follow the course with their flashlight, finding these different cat eyes in the dark. At the same time that evening we will have a night sky demonstration where we'll explain how to uh, find your directions in the dark using the different constellations. Other activities, water Olympics. Boys have a great time doing that. Trap shooting, a mile swim each morning, the boys get up and they practice on their mile swim, and then Friday they complete the mile swim. On Wednesday evening at Mountain Man game, Mountain Man, we have a woodman's game where we do all kinds of woodman activities. We also have the Dutch oven dessert cook-off, so bring your recipes ahead of time and challenge everybody to your Dutch oven dessert cook-off. Friday afternoon and Friday evening we have the banana relay, and this is a bunch of different uh, tasks that the boys do in a uh, timed activity, and the winning team, uh, the Scoutmaster has to eat the banana, and um, it's a lot of fun. We have the Penguin Club, that's each morning the boys get up and they go down to the lake, and they stand around the lake for 15 minutes, and they earn their Penguin Club merit badge, their four badge. We have the disc golf, we have a nine-hole disc golf course, and the Flying Squirrel, that's open several evenings during the week, and the boys will have a great time being lifted up into the sky with a flying squirrel. We have mountain boarding going down the hill. They have a good time in the afternoon doing mountain board activities. All right. Well, I wanted to take an opportunity to remind you that the most uh, important part of the live rollout is the fact that you have the uh, chance to ask us questions here live while we go about uh, laying out the camp book for the year. Uh, once again, you can tweet us at CornhuskerBSA or email at jared.rymers at scouting.org, or contact us through our Facebook page. Now, we did talk a little bit earlier about fees, and, uh, and we'll talk here in a few moments about assistantship opportunities that we have. Let's, uh, I'm getting a question coming in here now. Cornhuskercouncil.org backslash scholarship is the address that you can check out to find out how to apply for assistance uh, for coming down to Camp Cornhusker here in the council. Once again, that's cornhuskercouncil, that's all one word, dot org backslash scholarship. All right. All right. Uh, I'll start off telling you a little bit uh, about our Mountain Man program, uh, which we are featuring this year, the second level of that program, which is the Explorer level. 
Now, in 2012, Camp Cornhusker revived an old uh, camp loyalty and youth recognition program called the Mountain Man Program, and uh, that's off to a great start. But uh, we're doing a little bit of revision this year, and it's uh, things that I think uh, are going to be very positive uh, for the entire camp experience. Uh, right now, uh, a boy coming in his first year will receive his blank giga. I might have our gigas on here tonight. There we are. The blank giga signifies the pioneer status that we highlighted last year as part of our uh, camp rollout. This year, we're highlighting the explorer portion of that. Now, the explorer comes back in his second year and receives a stamp signifying that he's an explorer. Uh, this year, those individuals who wish to sport the crossed rifles of the frontiersmen will need to enroll in the trial of the frontiersmen experience. And so we'll be uh, sending out more details about that in the supplement to this year's leader guide. Uh, some of you may have noticed that this year's guide was a little thin. That's because we want to be able to sure to uh, deliver promises that we can keep and for us to roll it all out uh, here in the very early portion of the year and not have everything solid is not fair uh, to you, our customer. And so we'll be sending out a supplement detailing uh, some of these things. But what it boils down to is boys going out for the trial of the frontiersmen will uh, spend two nights uh, out at our frontier area going through a series of trials. Now, this does not keep them from participating in the merit badge exercises. They'll still be able to come into the main body of the camp during the course of the day and participate in a full schedule of merit badge activities uh, for their advancement. Uh, so look forward to the details about the Trial of the Frontiersman program for boys uh, in subsequent years. We'll be rolling out next year phase two of that, which will be the Voyager experience, and it will culminate in the third year of experiences with the Mountain Man trial. So that's something to look forward to this year, the rolling out of the Frontiersman experience. Once again, if you're wanting to ask us questions, which I know you do, uh, Cornhusker Council BSA is our tweet handle. Uh, the email is jared.rymers at scouting.org. That's J-E-R-A-D dot R-E-I-M-E-R-S at scouting.org. And, of course, you can also contact us via Facebook on the Council web page. All right, John. Now, we've already talked a little bit about camp scholarships. If you want to uh, give us a bit more information about that, John, that'd be fantastic. All right. Boys that need a little assistance in being able to attend camp, we want everybody to be able to attend. If you go to the Council website, you can download the application and explain why you need some assistance to be able to come to camp and you can get as much as 50% off to attend camp. And we want every boy to have the opportunity to come to camp, and just because you can't afford it, we'll help you. Okay. Very good. I um, wanted to highlight another aspect of the Mountain Man program. As you can see behind us, the lovely uh, shot that we have of uh, John's trying to get in as the chief mountain man in charge. Uh, the long tooth circle is the adult component of our Mountain Man program. This is newly rolled out just this year. Uh, this is an opportunity for adults to uh, help preserve the rich heritage and traditions of our camp down at Camp Cornhusker uh, through a series of volunteer uh, opportunities as well as monetary donation opportunities. This uh, members of the Long Tooth Circle also really get uh, the best way to, to bend the ear of the camp administration and make decisions about how camp will operate uh, this year and in the years to come. Uh, feel free to contact uh, us here at the council office if you have questions about the Long Tooth Circle program and how you can join. It starts off really easy, $25 yearly membership dues uh, get you started off, and you'll be able to wear the long tooth right there dangling off the center of your giga. So. We, we would like your input on what you would like at camp and how to get things done, and that's what the Long Tooth Council is about, is helping to participate in what will make the camp better. Now, another activity we have at camp is called the Outdoor Leader Training. This is for adults. And 
Most camps don't offer this. It's a full week program in the mornings, and we teach you the outdoor leader training activities, and then in the after, and then the next morning you teach the boys when the trailer first class. So you become an assistant to the scout leaders teaching the trailer first class. You learn all the same things that the boys do, but you are capable then of going back to your unit and helping the boys learn the trailer first class. It's been understood that if, if a boy doesn't get his first class within the first year, he's not as apt to stay in scouting. So you have the hands-on tools, and it's a great program that people year after year come back and volunteer for. Also, another thing that the adults can do when they come to camp is volunteer to assist in other areas of training at camp. Any merit badge that you're familiar with, you're welcome to, to help in, but also like in the life skills. If you have a welding background or electricity or home repairs or any of those, we, we're always looking for adults to come over and help in those areas to teach the boys how to do it better. All right, and we did have a question roll in uh, wanting us to clarify exactly what program was rolled out last year, and I believe that this is in uh, conjunction with our Mountain Man program. The Mountain Man program was reintroduced in 2012. Last year would have been the first year for new campers. Uh, well, we highlighted the pioneer year. So every year when a boy comes to camp as a brand new camper, uh, he would receive the blank giga. Um, so, and then this year, the 2013 spring of 2014 year is the founding year of the Long Tooth Circle. Okay, so there's still time to become a founder of the Long Tooth Circle. Uh, founders of the Long Tooth Circle uh, are designated by the fact that not only do they have the Long Tooth, but they also have this special bead. And only founders will have this bead here. It uh, is representative of a bundle of beaver pelts, and so that is what we call the fur bead, designating you as a founder of the Long Tooth Circle. I hope that that answers the question uh, that we had in regard to that. If not, uh, email or text us back at uh, tweetcornhuskerbsa or email at jared.rymers at scouting.org, or you can always contact us via Facebook. Keep those questions rolling in. In the meantime, uh, we were talking a little bit about training for adults, and camp is an excellent place to get more training. Uh, John's already highlighted a couple of our key trainings, but other trainings for adults are offered as camp, including youth protection training for those of us who are new leaders that need to get that taken care of, or uh, for those of us who will have our training expire in the coming year, safe swim defense, safety afloat, and aquatic supervision, Swimming and water rescue are all available to adults while down at Camp Cornhusker. Right. Yeah, how do you register for camp? Well, that's a good question, John. Online registration for Camp Cornhusker can be done at the cornhuskercouncil.org. Boy Scout Resident Camp Program. So you'll uh, go onto the website and click on Boy Scout Resident Camp and can begin the registration process. Registration for units is open right now. You may register your unit and reserve a campsite for the low, low price of $100 this year. Right? That may be going up in coming years, that initial registration fee. But registration is open for units right now. Registration for participants will open up January 1st of 2014. So right now, get your campsite reserved and your spot uh, in weeks one through three at Cornhusker Council org. If uh, you have a, a troop that is uh, perhaps small and doesn't have uh, maybe the opportunity for adult leaders to get away, uh, it's also an excellent opportunity. You can contact us about a boy or a small group of boys coming as part of a provisional troop. Those uh, opportunities are available in each of our weeks. We'll work hard to get a boy hooked up with a scouting unit yep. so that he can enjoy the full benefits of Camp Cornhusker. All right. What's our, uh, what did we have special last year? Well, last year, John, we rolled out the High Plains Drifter. And uh, this program will continue this year. High Plains Drifter is uh, something that we, uh, we continue to be very, very exciting about. The High Plains Drifter is, in fact, a venturing camp opportunity. 
open to all Boy Scouts and Scouters, as well as currently registered Venture Crew members or individuals who would like to take an opportunity to check out the scouting experience but are not currently enrolled in scouting. Last year we had girls and ladies. We did. We had quite the mixed bag down at camp, and it was a wonderful experience for all. And a blast. We did. We did indeed. And so coming July 13th through July 19th in 2014 will be High Plains Drifter Volume 2. Um, and so I've got some questions coming in. We'll get to those here in just a moment. Uh, but I want to highlight a couple of the aspects of the High Plains Drifter Adventuring Camp. Uh, we have basically five adventures in five days. The, the, the Top Shot Shooting Experience, where we get to do shooting, shooting, and more shooting, as John likes to say. Uh, we've got uh, archery as a part of that program, as well as rifle, pistol, and black powder. Backpacking, hiking the rugged trails along the Missouri River Bluffs in beautiful Indian Cave State Park. Uh, for an overnight trip, kayaking, uh, spending the day on the Big Nemaha or whatever river venue that we deem navigable at that time of year, uh, mountain biking, 24 miles on the Arbor Station or on the uh, the Steamboat Trace Trailhead, uh, starting at Arbor Station in Nebraska City and going down to Brownville, and finishing up that week experience with time on the Cope Course. Now we've got a couple of questions. Coming in, I'd like to get those addressed. Do we have to pay our deposit for a site? Um, or can we just tell you that we're coming? Nope. Uh, no, no site is reserved until we have your deposit in hand. And so uh, if you'd um, indicated a preference while well, it can't to have a site but did not pay the $100 deposit, uh, those sites are still open. Uh, also, We've got a question here. Is cooking in the campsite available this year? Uh, we have discontinued the in-camp cooking option. Uh, if that's something that you'd like to investigate, uh, please contact us. Um, so we'll be, uh, we'll be, I've got a lot of questions coming in here, and I'm just trying to keep track of them. Um, hold on a second. So if you're looking for cooking in campsite, contact us, but it will not be part of the uh, offered program as of this year. We've got another question coming up here. My but you also know the Cooking Merit Badge is a required merit badge this year, and we do all the cooking at camp other than cooking at home. So you get all your cooking requirements out of the way at camp if you take the Cooking Merit Badge. Um, just uh, for your information, uh, we will be offering a training for registration for camp. Look for it online in December, so keep posted to the council webpage. We'll be offering an online tutorial on how to register for camp. Can we bring our own thunder sticks? No, you may not. Okay. All of the firearms for all of the Boy Scout and Mentoring Program uh, will be provided by the camp. Do not bring your own personal firearms or archery equipment. And another question about how is the ammo situation? Well, the ammo situation continues to be sketchy. We're always willing to take uh, donations of ammunition. Uh, we do have uh, certainly enough um, held in reserve, uh, but we're always investigating uh, opportunities to increase uh, the amount that we have so that we can uh, ensure that program uh, throughout the year. So if you are still interested in an ammunition donation, uh, talk to us. Certainly we're always yes. looking for 22 caliber. Uh, if you're interested in larger board donations for the venturing program, uh, contact us and we'll let you know what calibers we're looking for this year. All right. Where are we at, John? In our Well, how much does it cost to do the uh, oh, the high plane structure. How much does it cost? Well, it costs uh, the the small sum of two hundred and twenty five dollars for the week. And I encourage you folks get online, go and check out uh, sites uh, for 4-H camps and the like. You will yeah. not find any camp experience uh, that is similar to the one that we are offering with the High Plains Drifter camp uh, for anything close to that price. So another question coming in here. How can we donate ammunition? Well, donating ammunition is easy. 
Um, simplest way is to drop your own ammunition donation off here at the Council Service Center here in Walton, uh, where we'll be able to write you a slip. Otherwise, contact your district executive and they will make arrangements uh, for a pickup. If you are somewhere far from uh, the Council Service Center, we can certainly come and, uh, and help take that ammunition off your hands and make sure that you're properly receipted for such. Another activity we have at camp is the OA call-outs. It's an inspirational evening with the boys and adults dressed in their regalia and the young men that have, and adults that have been chosen to join the OA Camping Society are called out and it is a marvelous ritual that I think you'll really enjoy. We have one of the finest around. That evening is usually Thursday evening and the OA call-outs is just breathtaking. All right. We did have a question here about how can we contact Will and John. Well, that's a very good question. You can contact us here at the Council Service Center via that number. Uh, your extension, John, is? 222. 222. And mine is 221. <laughs> that's right. We got confused <laughs> earlier in the year. People were calling for John and getting me. And at least with camp, it's almost like the same thing. Uh, so that is how you can contact us. Uh, you can also reach me via email at william.cover, that's C-O-V-E-R, at scouting.org. All right, if you want mine, it's J-I-R-W-I-N, the number one, at neb.rr.com. So this afternoon, John, I was sitting here in the office, and we had a wonderful thing come in. It was an application for camp staff. Sure it is. on your desk that's right, right now. And uh, you want to tell everybody a little bit about how we'd love to accept more of those applications. Yes. Look through the, your boys at, 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 in your troop and let them know that being on camp staff is an experience that will stick with them for the rest of their life. One, they will see the boys go home that they've been teaching all week with a smile on their face and they have learned a lot from what they were able to teach the boys. I'm looking for camp staff every year and you can get the camp staff application by going to scouting.org downloading the application and sending it in. The scout leaders encourage your young men to look into the opportunity of being on camp staff. Being an eagle is an awesome thing, an achievement, but also by being on camp staff you become a different person having to work with your peers, having to teach things, and get along with a lot of other people. It's a very rewarding experience. It's a good thing for the boys to do. Absolutely. So encourage them to apply for camp staff. There, there is no other experience uh, like being a member of a camp staff. Uh, I served on many camp staffs uh, during the course of my youth and I'm very happy uh, to be back a part of that camp staff experience as an adult. Uh, and that brings up a very good point that you may belong to a company. Uh, that uh, has a particular interest in helping out our camp. There are a myriad of ways in which a company might be able to help us out um, as a sponsor for a particular merit badge. So, for example, let's say that uh, you work for machine. blank uh, machine shop or such and such auto parts chain and they would like to become a, a corporate sponsor for Merit Badge, or in the case of our trade skills uh, building, which uh, is the Robert Neatfield uh, building there on camp. Uh, we do have naming opportunities still available for those bays, and so if a business would like to contact us about that, they can be a corporate Merit Badge or Bay sponsor, program sponsor down at camp. Uh, we'd love to talk with them about that. Uh, in regard to staffing questions, um, the, the question comes, uh, can only boys staff? And what about females? Well, we are, uh, the staff is comprised of a venturing crew, which is why John and I appear tonight in our green venturing uniforms as opposed to what we more usually wear in the traditional Boy Scout uniform. So we are a co-ed staff, uh, so staffing opportunities are available both for young men and young women as well for adult men and women. Uh, are there any restrictions? Are there any any she restrictions? I don't know what that means. As far as restrictions go, 
Oh, any age restrictions? Yep. That's what the question was. Are there any age restrictions? Well, we have a very wide uh, variety of ages working for the camp uh, right now. Um, our CITs start off 14. at age 14. 14 so and 15. The youngest that you can be and be on staff is uh, 14. And as far as the old uh, goes, <laughs> don't go there. If you can. <laughs> If you can uh, navigate uh, <laughs> navigate the camp uh, or bring yourself a jeep, um, you can get on camp staff, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we, you know, we we value very highly uh, the, the the possibility for contribution from our older scouters in regard to uh, camp staff. Uh, so uh, please, 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 let me know. Yeah, if you're a retired person, this is an excellent way to spend mm -hmm. part of your summer. Also, at teachers is another uh, opportunity because a lot of times you're not working in the summer and you can come down and help in teaching in classes. The young people start at 14 and 15 and they go clear up till any age mm -hmm. and this is a great teaching and learning experience for them. Right, and we do have a couple of director positions, area positions, uh, that uh, do require some minimums uh, as far as being 21. And those would include uh, aquatics. aquatics director, yes. must be uh, 21 years of age, as does the shooting sports uh, director. And the horsemanship. Horsemanship uh, instructor needs to be 21 years of age or older. Um, trying to think where else we've got hard and fast age requirements. That may be it. The waterfront is 18, I believe. Mm -hmm. 18, mm -hmm. and certainly 18 uh, in our uh, scout skills. Area, as well as the ecology and conservation area for director's positions. So yeah. uh, if you're uh, looking to staff, um, we can accommodate uh, anyone above age 14. Once again, remember, uh, you can send in your questions to us via tweet at CornhuskerBSA. That's our tweet handle. Uh, email at jared.rymers at scouting.org or via Facebook. Commissioner staff, who are they? What do they do? Who's taking those applications, John? We are to, okay, you can send in this, the application. This is a great position because they work right with the adult leaders that come to camp. They're the liaison, and they make sure that you're set up in camp, you're comfortable, everything is working all right. They help direct you to your classes. They check you in, and they check you out of camp, and they're your go-to people. There you go. And we, we accept those applications, and Dr. Jim Hoke, is our camp commissioner, head of camp commissioners this year, and will be joining us as a full-fledged member of our camp administrative team as he goes. We're, we're sending Jim to National Camp School this year to get his administration card. So uh, he'll be handling all of the applications for commissioner staff. So Once again, uh, if you have a question, send it in via tweet uh, at CornhuskerBSA. Email at jared.rymers at scouting.org or via Facebook. Uh, we've got, uh, I just can't say enough about the fact that uh, the camp experience, whether as a camper or a staffer, is one that is invaluable. Uh, I believe uh, Baden Powell said that a week in camp is worth six months of training in the troop meeting space. So. Well, we have a number of things at our camp that more than camp around has and other camps are beginning to find out what we're doing and, and trying to copy it. Our trailer first class program like we mentioned earlier is quite unique in that it's adult led and it's also a teaching mechanism for people taking outdoor leader training. The other program that we started to get your older boys, keep your older boys in scouts is our older boy program and the boys need to learn how to change a socket and uh, make a motor and do home repairs and change a tire. These are things that they all need to learn. So as Scoutmasters, you can help encourage them to try these new merit badges. They're not offered in, in any other camp. We're the only camp that has it. Our life skills program is very unique, and I think when the boys get a chance to try it, they're learning something that will last them a lifetime. Very good. Got a question here. It says, I've heard of some summer camps providing new programs for ATVs. Any plans for that at Camp Cornhusker? Well, not for the 2014 year, but that uh, doesn't rule out possibilities for 2015. That's it, is, correct. it is on our radar, uh, certainly as a potential opportunity. I'd say if you have connections with people who sell ATVs and they'd like to become a sponsor, uh, that could probably happen a lot quicker. So uh, let us know if you have any connections to that end. 
I will let you know, uh, last year we did a couple of other great and innovative things uh, in that as part of the camp registration process, we made sure, uh, and this will be double check this year, we missed a few uh, opportunities last year, but for the most part, uh, you were paying for all of the camp supplies you'd need for various merit badges at the time of registration. Instead of having to worry about sending youth to camp with a great big wad of cash to take care of various program supplies, uh, we were helping you to take care of that as part of the initial registration process. We're going to continue that policy. Uh, it worked out very well, helped us with inventory, to make sure that nobody went without, and it also made sure that uh, scouts weren't coming to camp with more cash uh, than they needed for uh, you know the, the uh, treat necessities and spending all of their money on that as opposed for the uh, program supplies that they needed. Also, we will continue this year with uh, opting for a, uh, a pre-order of the camp year specific t-shirt. I'm going to bring this up here for just a moment, cover up John and Mai's ugly mugs here. Here it is, a preview of this year's camp t-shirt. That is Camp Cornhusker Explorer Year. This is what the pre-order t-shirt will look like, and you'll be able to order that and get it all paid for uh, along with your regular um, Registration. So, a couple more uh, questions coming in here. Let's just take a look. See, um, adult staffing question. What is the living situation for older staff over 30? It says. Well, there are a couple of varying options. If a, a adult staff member is wanting to uh, rough it down in the it's burbs, not, it's not roughing. It's not roughing. I've been there for years. I love it. Okay. Uh, the, the option is available for tent staying, otherwise we do have uh, some cabin space available for adult staff members and that is uh, uh, basically taken care of as part of the uh, hiring negotiations as to where you'll be staying uh, during the course of camp. So there are, there are a variety of uh, solutions to older staff living situation. We have a couple of staff people that uh, we do. We have a we have a little uh, we have a little travel trailer community that hangs out uh, over there back in the uh, the quarter master maintenance yard area. That's where uh, myself and Richard White reside. So camp t-shirts, how will we get these ordered? The same process as last year. Yes. Um, so uh, the the ordering of camp t-shirts will take care uh, as part of the registration process. It's a pre-order uh, and we'll be uh, providing that opportunity uh, for you to order and pay for your shirt uh, at that time. That way we don't get left with an overabundance of leftover year specific shirt stock. Now we will always continue to offer uh, you know a fine array of uh, camp and Cornhusker Council related t-shirts in the trading post. Uh, in addition to the, um, the year-specific shirt. The year-specific shirt, however, will be a pre-order situation. So. You notice one of the merit badges that we're bringing in is robotics. The boys have been uh, very active in robotics in their, in their high schools, and so we figured that this is a chance for us to be on the cutting edge of the technology that the boys are learning, and so we are working on grants right now to develop our aquatic, our robotics merit badge. Now, you may have other questions that you think of after the fact. You can always contact us via any of the sources that we put out here tonight, but I also want to give you the opportunity uh, to sound off at roundtable. Tomorrow night is uh, council-wide roundtables for all three districts. Uh, in the Salt Valley, you'll be meeting in Lincoln at the Irving Middle School at 7 p.m. for Prairie Winds participants. You'll be in Cordova at the Trinity Church. Uh, that uh, particular roundtable starts at 7.30, not at 7 o'clock. And if you are in the Seven Feathers District, stop by the Kautza at the First Baptist Church, and that roundtable starts at 7 p.m. An excellent opportunity to talk with professional staff as well as some of the adult staff members who work at our camp and get some questions answered there at Roundtable. One more time, I'm just going to remind everybody about how you can contact us. Either our tweet handle is Cornhusker BSA, 
email at jared.rymers at scouting.org. And Facebook, you can uh, message us via Facebook. Another question coming in here. Adult staff, is the application process different for adults? Not really. Uh, you download that application, fill it out with the uh, documentation that it asked for, submit it here to the council office for John and my review, and we'll contact you about a uh, interview for that position. So. Robotics, are we partnering with 4-H? Uh, we are not partnering with 4-H, uh, but we are working with a very compatible, or a <laughs> compatible, not compatible, uh, program. Uh, we have a lot of our volunteer members are also very involved in the 4-H robotics program, and they are helping us to write uh, the curriculum for that and uh, seek the robotics technology through the Lego um, program, right. I believe. So, uh, so not uh, not partnering with, but certainly utilizing our 4-H resources within our council volunteer staff. All right. Well, we're coming up here on having been at this close to 45 minutes. Tent and cot availability, how and price. Well, yes, we do have tentage available. Uh, down at camp. We just need to know well in advance mm -hmm. uh, about your particular tentage needs. Uh, cots are also available. Tent rental is $10, $10 and That's the cots price. are at 5 um, But the more advanced notice that you can give us on that, the better, naturally. So, but yes, they are available down at camp. Um, though I should point out, um, there has been some confusion in the past. We don't set them up for you. Um, you can rent them, but uh, but having them set up is not part of the ten dollar rental price. So, any other camp equipment rental opportunities? Well, yes, the quartermaster has a lot of equipment in there uh, that is available. I know we have a large stack of Dutch ovens. If you're needing some dessert cooking utensils as well as other pots and pans, um, certainly we have uh, the. Uh, and it's not even a rental opportunity. We have the mountain boards, uh, which are available to be checked out. Uh, they are not a rental item. Uh, other camp equipment, uh, fishing, fishing, we have fishing equipment that is available to rent. Uh, we fishing also is great. It is, it is exceptional <laughs> down at camp. Uh, and so, uh, yes, we do have other equipment opportunities. Let us know what you're looking for, and uh, we'll let you know if we have it in the quartermaster. It's a fairly large area, and the uh, selection is somewhat scattered. So, all right, very good. Anything else that we need to touch base on here with the camp book, John? Other than to look forward to the supplement to that camp guide coming out uh, in mid to late January, and then uh, those of you who have signed up and uh, have started the registration process will be receiving then the final leaders supplement that comes out just prior to camp. Last year we only had three campsites left available for the whole season. So I would strongly suggest you get registered as soon as possible if you want your choice of campsites. Uh, we, we could expand into more campsites if we need to, but we only had three left last year. So start getting registered as soon as possible. Um, question here, is there a setup fee that we can pay? I'm assuming in regards to tents. Um, yes, John and I'll get back to you about that. Uh, we'll, we'll, find some, we'll find a reasonable fee for this. <laughs> uh, in regard to the mountain boards, do we supply our safety equipment or do you? We have safety equipment available for those mountain boards. Helmets, uh, elbow and knee pads. Uh, are part of uh, what is required. If you check out a board, you also have to check out the safety equipment to ride it. We don't let anybody go without helmet. So you can bring your own frisbees or, or discs, or you can get them uh, checked out at the trading post also for disc golf. Very good. Uh, let's see. Bikes down at camp. Yes, we, yes. Bring your mountain bike. Make, bring your bicycle uh, with you to camp. Uh, it's, it's a good place to have a great time riding from one class to the other. That's right. You can bring your own bike. Now, you are responsible for its safety and uh, being locked down, and of course you'll want to bring your own helmet. 
uh, for your bicycle. We can't have anyone riding without one down on the camp property. And we'll see if uh, we're also going to be making available, uh, the camp did uh, procure a large supply, well, a semi-large supply of mountain bikes as part of our High Plains Drifter program. And we've not set any uh, hard and fast decision on rental prices for those, but they may be available as well. Let's see. I've got something coming in here. It says, last question. Visit cornhuskercouncil.org backslash signature to find out what the fox said. All right. I believe that's what the Fox Patrol said, all you wood badgers out there. So if you want to find out what the Fox said, check it out, cornhuskercouncil.org backslash signature. And for the, those of you who have been you know, struggling with the burning question all night as to why I shaved off my beard, <laughs> uh, the, the, the answer is really rather simple. Uh, I am participating in a Movember team for men's health awareness. And uh, if you wanted to uh, check out my Movember team space, uh, you can do that. Just get uh, get out there on the internet and look for my page and track my progress as I grow back in my mustache uh, through the month of November. And uh, we're doing that to support charity for men's health awareness and research. All right, I, I strongly suggest that you talk to your boys about coming to our camp. We have two areas. We have the young boys taking trail to first class, we've got an older boy program during the, the camp weeks, and then we have our High Plains Drifter for your older boys. We're trying to take care of both areas, the young boys, brand new, and the older boys. We appreciate the adults that always pitch in and teach and help train and work with everybody. So we need volunteer adults in, in whatever area that they want to participate in. I suggest you sign up for camp. Talk to your boys about coming to camp. They're going to have a great time. You can call us, email us, if you have any ideas or suggestions that you would like to pre present to us. But sign up for camp right away. All right. We look forward to seeing you down at camp next summer. And uh, just to let you know, there is about a two-minute delay. So John and I are going to sign off right now. If you text in a question and it doesn't get answered, we will uh, address that question and get back in touch with you personally. That's all that we've got for now, folks. We're going to sign off, and we'll see you down at camp.